Welcome to Narbro at the James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, a bit disappointing last night. So I've chucked out all my palmers out and we are cracking on. And the aim of the game today is to get in, is to wire up my sanitation stuff. So really the whale gulper, get that plumbed in. And if I can, the water pump. To do that, it's thick cable, that stuff. Obviously it's vital electronics. So it's got this chunky six mil cable. Um, and there's loads of it. It's got to go all the way to the bloody bow. So I've got to put in this chunky conduit in the uh, tray underneath the gunnel here. And the idea, it's going to be one cable going from the electrics cupboard up to the bathroom. And there's going to be a junction box in the bathroom. And then it's going to go from there, basically. It's going to feed the whale gulper, the toilet, and the water pump. So there'll be a sanitation switch, basically, at the, uh, at the electrics point. And it'll turn it all on and off. And then there'll be individual switches for the gulper and the uh, toilet. Okay, so the next part, I've got two rolls of cable. These are Siamese cables, so basically the positive and ne negative are connected. Um, this is um, this is the run, basically goes from the electrics cupboard to the connection point underneath the shower, or behind the shower. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna go into these two kind of distribution points so positive and negative one of those that's those two so positive will come on it'll clamp on to there from here I'll obviously be able to put in the little one for the uh, for the toilet but then it will take the other big chunky cable from that point there up to the bow and obviously gives me a few other connections that I can I can do other things with if I needed to, if I want some 12 volt in the in the uh, bathroom or anything. So I've run the conduit tray to uh, up to the bathroom. So I'll poke that through there. something's turned up in the post today from uh, Karen in Tasmania. And it says on the front it's got a table mat, two chocolates and a jar of berry paste. That's all quite intriguing. an Australian um, bottle opener and coaster. That's really cool. Oh, is that magnetic as well? Oh, that's really good. For the children of James. Oh, 
are cool. The chocolates, the chocolate shapes in the shape of Australia. That's really cool. Oh, the kids will love that. James. Wrap this stuff up well, Karen. Oh, this feels like the jar of fairy paste. Slow paste. Wow. Made in Tasman from Tasmania slowberries, hand aged from com from county hedgerows. Wow, look at that. Never seen that before. Wow. I wonder what you put it on. If anyone can let me know what you got of how you eat that. Slow paste. Goodness knows. Well, there's a letter here. Maybe Karen explains what I do with that slow paste. Oh, that's a colourful card. We love the narrowboat that James built. We love the Snow Patrol name. We love Carol. We loved London. And we love berries. Grown in Tasmania and processed here at a place called Muna, which means gum tree in the local first people's language. Cheers from one Sheila and two Shirley's. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you so much, you guys. Lovely, cheers. Because these are Siamese cables, um, I need to split them. So I'm just gonna go in with a blade in the middle. And it cuts the plastic sheath around the insulation. So it's got kind of two coatings this cable does. So you can see here what I've had to do is trim away some of that outer insulation so I can get the connector onto it. I'm going on with these super big yellow ones. And that's the positive and negative. Nearly done. So I'm now trying to work out the position of the whale gulper. So this is really kind of what's determining it. This is the outlet hose. Um, it's, and that's obviously just the um, skin thing that it's going into. And what I don't want, it, I don't want there to be like a real big kink in the hose. I want it to be kind of fairly easy for it to for the water to get up so therefore i'm just going to work out kind of the bends that's it should go that way on the on the whale gulper the flow of the whale gulper goes that way so in kind of the gray water from the shower goes in there and it goes out that way and then up in it out to there so kind of thinking if the whale gulper was in, in that kind of position there then the hose can go under there and through there but then the problem is, is that the, the way it comes in from the shower now, it comes in through a hole there and it's got to go back behind the shower and there'd be basically a big loop there. So that's something to consider. So I'm just kind of having a play with it all now. Okay, so this is gonna be the end here that goes into the whale goal. But I'm just kind of in the process of getting all this stuff in place now and I've just thought I should probably paint this wood even though you're not going to be able to see any of it well you might see that top bit there but this is all going to be boxed in but as is all of that area in there but I might as well paint it because um, it helps preserve the wood 
so I'm going to quickly slap some paint down. Next thing I've realised is that for me to get a tight fit on the Jubilee clip, I need to trim some wall back. Even if I had a clip kind of right at the front, I still got no purchase to get in there. So that's kind of right on the edge there. I just can't get anything in there to get that. So I'm going to trim out some wall that way. I can't go up obviously because I'm going to not want that to be visible. But none of this is going to be on show. But I'm kind of getting to the point where there's no point putting that wall in in the first place. Right, I've trimmed away a bit of the uh, back wall there. I don't know if you can notice that. Um, but I've managed to get the Jubilee clip on. It's nice and tight. And the pipe is on for about, well, probably kind of two thirds of the skin fitting. So it's on there, that's good and proper, nice. And then obviously I've used the bend of the pipe. You can warm this up in kind of hot water and yeah, it becomes quite malleable. But just how it currently is, that's how it's basically gonna be behind here. And I'm going to mount it to the side there. Right, I can now put in the gulper. You guys have got the best seats in the house. So that's going to be going on to there. So it means the gulp is nice and accessible. If there's any drips, I can contain them nicely underneath it, so that's good. The electrics aren't gonna get dripped on at all. It's not underneath anything. If I go a little bit higher, then that's gonna help the in pipe, the inflow. If I went a bit higher, and that's still a nice curve for that. Okay, that's where we're going. You don't want to do these up super tight because they're on little vibration pads. Right, so now this hose here can be connected. Now there's a valve, if I move that out of the way, there's a valve on the gulper. And if I, <clears throat> the simpler thing would be to put that in the hose straight away, but then you've got to twist it on there and this hose can't be twisted. So I'm going to put the valve in place first and then I'm going to just dip this in a bit of <clears throat> hot water for a little while. I'll make myself a cup of tea whilst I'm doing it. And uh, that'll just make it a bit more malleable and it'll be able to slip onto there nice and easily. I don't really want to push it on too much against the gulper. And then I can put a Jubilee, Jubilee clip on there nicely. Right, so the gulper's in place. And as you can see, the hose is kind of got a nice, it's not under strain anywhere. Nice, generous curves under no strain at all. Oh yeah, it's a lot more malleable now. Oh yes, that goes on nicely.
perfect. So whilst I'm here, I might as well attach the in pipe for the gulper. So I'm just making that a bit more malleable because it's actually quite a tight fit on there. Got my Jubilee clip ready. I mean, that's really squeezy there. That's brilliant. That's two out of the three whale gulper components attached. Now I need to start thinking about its power switch, fuse, that kind of stuff. Okay, this chunky six mil cable now comes through that conduit tray down the back of the shower here underneath there nice and neat and into those two terminal connectors so now the whale gulper from the positive feed you have the fuse which is as near to the device as possible and from here, I'm gonna now put a switch in. And basically the switch is gonna be at the top here. There's gonna be like a platform up here somewhere. And there's just gonna be a button, which is gonna be the switch to turn on the gulper. And you'll have the same thing for the toilet fan. That'd be the simplest way, just minimize the cables. And obviously the gulper is just gonna plug straight into there as will the toilet fan. So at the moment, the Two cables from the whale gulper are going up to the bottom of that CLS. Um, they've been cable tied along with those two, with that Siamese cables. This one here has got to come, this has obviously got the fuse in it. Um, so that needs to be accessible and it's going to come from the fuse up to a switch up here and then back obviously down to the positive. Okay. Right, both the ends are ready. Everything's connected in the... Um, bathroom so what I need is a fresh battery freshly charged battery and I should be able to test the whale gulper so these are exciting times right lights are on in the bathroom whale gulpers plugged in ready to go switches off so the only other thing I need to do is get the end of the pipe, that one there. I need to put the drain attachment on there, put it into the shower, put some water in it, turn it on, and see if it will squirt out the side of the boat. I've had to change the the way that the uh, shower tray fits, not the shower tray, the um, this bit fits in. Um, so now I can go about trimming this, because I know how much I need. So it's basically gonna go feed through that way. It's gonna go into about there. So I reckon I need to take about that much off. You want it all to be sitting comfortably. You don't want it to be kind of fighting itself. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now I need the Jubilee clip.
Right, <coughs> something stopping that. I think it's the uh, the floor. It's the ply floor. What it's doing is stopping that bit. I didn't cut enough of the floor away. It's not letting that bit come up high enough. So therefore that part here of the tray isn't, isn't getting flush with the floor. I think the only way of doing that without changing my contraption is See if I can excavate a little bit of that floor. Yeah, I might be able to, you know. better right right it's moment of truth time uh, negative onto the negative positive onto the positive right well gulper is now plugged in Okay, everything's ready. So what I need to do, and this can run dry the whale gulper. I guess it's probably not very good for it to run dry for a long period of time. But I can turn it on. It sounds like it's pumping. Yes, I think that's working. I can see the water there. I can see it coming out there. I can't see it pissing out anywhere. Let's have a look. It's pissing all over my neighbour's boat. That's amazing. just sits in there there's a bit in there hasn't drained all of it brilliant bloody brilliant 
Well, I know at quite a few points um, today, I seemed a little bit surprised that things worked. Um, it's uh, it's just one of those things. Everything kind of worked out perfectly today. Had all the right fixes and fittings. All the electrics worked fine. All the plumbing worked fine. So um, yeah, happy days. Um, I put the uh, PTFE tape on the whale gulper on the outlet like you should do um, but that was the only bit that I needed on this uh, on this particular one there's a seal that I'd like to get I think I need a bit more of a thicker rubber seal um, on the um, shower trap so uh, I'll get one of those I've got to go to London tonight um, I've got a meeting down in Kent tomorrow morning and I'll be back at the boat um, some stage tomorrow evening or something like that um, still obviously there's loads to crack on with but today was a real achievement to be honest to uh, get the goal print I wasn't quite expecting to get it all done to be honest um, but as I said it all worked out quite well so um, the water pump is next uh, well that and the toilet really um, is next I think my kit my uh, galley taps are turning up at some stage and also I've ordered the wash hand basin for the gap for the uh, bathroom so that should be turning up as well um, and yeah but water pump is the next one um, so I'll hopefully get that done well hopefully sometime this week but yeah that's one massive thing ticked off the list so that's good hope you guys are all well take care bye bye <laughs> Oh, yes.